guys welcome back to simply basic recipes the new ninja turtles movies coming out soon so i decided to do a little snack for that movie and this is going to be a sort of healthy snack this week and it would be a good snack if your kids are having a birthday party or something that you're going to have ninja turtle themed this would be a really good snack or a good addition to that these are totally adorable so i hope you guys will enjoy this video to make these ninja turtle party apples you're going to need some candy melts and you're going to need some black, white, orange, red, light blue. And I couldn't find any purple candy melts in the store this time. So I'm just going to do half and half with red and dark blue to make a purple color. You're also going to need some green apples, some toothpicks just in case you need them. Um, number four, cake decorating tip, some craft sticks, and also a little paintbrush. You may need that. And also some piping bags so let's go ahead and get started first you're going to need a picture of the ninja turtles that you want to do your apples to look like i've got the original ninja turtles pictures on my phone and that's what i'm going to use so so i'm going to start with melting my black candy melts once you melt the candy melts go ahead and put them in your piping bag with a number four tip and what i'm going to do is take one of the ninja turtles and i'm just going to use the black to outline the features of the turtle's face and also the bandana and this is going to look kind of messy at first and that's okay because once the candy completely firms up and hardens you can just chip off what you don't want or you can smooth it out with your finger so this isn't going to look perfect right now but when they're done they'll look really nice Once you've got the black on all of your apples and you have all of the features traced out with your black candy melts, then you're going to go ahead and melt your colored candy melts. And I'm just going to melt one color at a time because they do firm up pretty fast. So I'm just going to start with Michelangelo and melt the orange ones and I'm just going to fill in around the bandana. And now I melted the red candy melts and I'm going to paint in Raphael's red bandana. And I actually picked up the wrong turtle, if you guys will notice. Raphael was supposed to be the angry looking turtle, or one of the angry looking turtles. And I accidentally picked up one of the um, smiling turtles. So if you guys notice that, that's what happened. I thought I placed my apples down on the counter in order, and I didn't. I misplaced them. I just grabbed it up and started working. So that's what happened with that one, if you happen to notice. But anyway, just keep going around there and um, outlining around the eyes and inside the bandana with the red candy melts, just like you did Michelangelo. And while you've got your red candy melts melted, you can go ahead and fill in the tongue on the smiling turtles. If you decide to do any smiling turtles, then now's a good time to do that. And next, we're going to color in Leonardo. So you want to go ahead and melt the blue candy melts and start filling in his bandana with blue. And lastly, we've got Donatello, and we're going to fill in his with purple. And you can see the color purple there turned out really nice uh, where I mixed the red and the blue together. So if you guys can't find purple, then mix a 50-50 with the dark blue and the red, and it turns out a really nice shade of purple. Now I just melted my white candy melts, and I'm just going to fill in around the eyes, or inside the eyes and around the pupil there. And it's going to really bring these turtles to life when you do that. And I also took the black, I, didn't, I don't know if I mentioned it, but whenever I outlined their faces in black at the very beginning, on the ones that are smiling, I went ahead and um, filled in the inside of their mouth with black also. So you can see that in the picture here. And if you're in the middle of doing this and you see some, some of your um, candy coating didn't quite fill in any creases and crevices inside the outline that you made, you can get your toothpick out. And it works really well to just fill in all those little crevices that you missed with the candy coating. So Leonardo and Donatello ended up being the ones with the angry face. So I'm just going to fill in the inside of their mouth with white to make their teeth. And then take some of your leftover black and you can make the teeth, the outline of the teeth with the black icing that you have left.
Now here that I'm almost finished, I can see the little places that have firmed up and hardened on the turtle that I need to just chip off. So any imperfections, you can just get your finger down and just chip that off. And then if, you're, if your candy melts aren't completely smooth on the front, you can use your finger. And the heat from your skin will actually melt the candy just enough to where you can smooth it out with the tip of your finger. And the last thing you need to do with these turtles is take a popsicle stick or a craft stick. And I've got the jumbo size because I've got a pretty big apple here. So I'm just going to put a little tiny bit of white candy coating on the outside of the stick on each side. And I'm just going to shove that into the top of the apple. And the candy coating will firm up and just make sure that the stick stays inside the apple without coming out. And there are my finished Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle party apples. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope if you're planning on having a Ninja Turtle party that you'll have these sitting out as sort of like a snack or an appetizer for the kids or your friends or whoever you're having the party for. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed, please do so. I'll have a new video every week. See you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bye.